the first thing that I did was diversify my income. It was going to be 80%, but now I'm like 100% uh, of my income to come online. Uh, and once I can make that happen, and once I can scale that up, because first is making it happen, second is like scaling it up, and then once you get the hang of it, then I could leave. Uh, but essentially, I'm planning to live primarily in Puerto Rico, uh, mm -hmm. just and just c come kind of kind of at certain moments because. There's one thing that's happening, especially with the industry, uh, acting and stuff like that, is that literally the majority is going to be self-tape now. Right. Uh, like, even, like, it, it just, re like, literally because of this happening, it just changed the landscape of work in a crazy right. way. Uh, nope. To the point that literally Zoom meetings are, like, mandatory for like companies, they have mm -hmm. like these type of meetings, whether it's Zoom or whatever other platform, but that's what they're doing. Even Isaac told me, hey, I can't come to the meeting today because I have a Zoom meeting with my, with my work thing. Um, and, uh, and the industry is doing the same thing for commercials and also for um, theatrical stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, and so all you have to really have is like a dope ass setup and you can pretty much audition for anywhere. I, I know people that literally book jobs, not voiceovers, because voiceovers have been doing this for years, but I'm talking about legit acting gigs, like full, the whole thing, literally without stepping a single day into the actual set. They did it all from home. And I'm gonna film a series, season 10 of Stop the Bleeding, this summer, uh, in the next couple of weeks, literally from my house. Mm -hmm. Like I'm gonna, we're gonna do the table read and we're gonna tape the whole thing like from our house. And I'm like, what? This is insane. I wanna see how it turns out, but literally that's where things are moving. And now I'm like, oh, I don't even need to be here. Have to be here, right. Like I don't have to be here. And if I have to be here, I can always fly here. Yep. You right. know? It's just like, cause literally, for the amount of, just for the amount of rent that you pay here, you can buy a home in like, in a bunch of places in Texas, in the yep. East Coast, in Puerto Rico, you can buy like two homes. Like, it's insane. Mm -hmm. um, so now that's where I'm heading myself to, just cause I'm just like, oh yeah, I don't, I don't need to hustle that way anymore. <laughs> it's like light bulb. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's smart. It's also it's also because I have you know I dis that disperse my money in different ways and whatever now that I feel like even though I what I have is nothing compared to like Elon Musk and all these people, but <laughs> <laughs> but it makes me feel more comfortable <laughs> of like thinking about decisions in the future of my life and be like oh yeah I can do that oh I can do that. Definitely. Uh, them them guys had to start somewhere too, right? Yeah. Almost half a, half a business is starting a fucking garage, and now like your pad is basically your garage, man. Yeah, that's it. And all you need to figure out that one thing, man. Once you figure out that one thing, you can do whatever else. But uh, but yeah, that's that's the way I've been thinking. I was thinking about Texas, but I, I'm still like the only place in Texas that I've heard is amazing is Austin. Of course. But still, man, all those guns out there, all the hate for black people, I'm just like, I don't know. I'm sorry, but I, and I ain't felt no kind of way. You don't feel that way? No, I don't. I was in the, um, I was in, a, in the grocery store the other day and I was looking for a cart and this white lady was like, hold on, you can use mine. Let me wipe it down for you. And she wiped it down with a little napkin. People have been so nice here. That's yeah, but it's to have that yes. hospitality going. People have been so nice. You know? That's chill. I'm hyping a lot of shit up right now. 
Nothing so, wrong with that. Do it. I just hope it lasts. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> it's always been like this. <laughs> you think? What I'm saying is people have this misconception of like Texas, like oh, you gonna come down here and somebody gonna get out the car and be like, hey boy, <laughs> like you know, and I like I never experienced yeah. that ever. And no, then but- I. And then I really thought that was attention because of everything that's going on. I mean, you're going to see your Trump sign in a yard. You're going to see, you know, Trump 2020 in a yard. Yeah. But, yeah, like, I came down here thinking I was going to run into Karens and have to slap somebody. <laughs> but I haven't had that experience at all. <laughs> like, at all. Well, Texas is a big state. Maybe it's, like, different parts. But you're in Austin right now, right? No, I'm in Dallas. You're in Dallas, I'm in all right. Conservative city. <laughs> gotcha. Because I was going to say, in Arizona, it was, it was basically like that, what people think that Texas is. That's basically Arizona right there. So, mm. so if, yeah. you wanna avoid a, if you want to avoid something, Steve, uh, it's definitely fucking Arizona. Don't go there. I was going to say, it's definitely areas, because it's like Florida. Like, Florida... It's cool, depending where you go. Like, if you go to South Flow, you'll be fine. If you go to North Flow, uh, it's a little different. (laughs) So, yeah, yeah, it all depends where you're situated, you know. But you know what? You could go to places in L.A. and find that bullshit. It's like three Karen videos that I've seen in, like, (laughs) Santa Monica. Right. Anaheim. Anaheim. Right. <laughs> right. Got plenty in Orange County, but I, I don't think that one counts. <laughs> nah, it don't. Oh shit! How to go back? But yeah. Uh, how 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 you guys been been holding up this past couple of weeks? You've been doing good. Yeah. yeah, mostly chill. Haven't had any panic attacks, any stress attacks. Oh God, yes and no. <sighs> mostly just trying to situate money wise, like where to put money at, just in case if shit hits harder. When it does, because I'm not like I'm a very paranoid person, and right now I, I've had the most uh, like uh, income saved in the longest time. Like th- these digits I've never seen before. Yeah, I don't know what to, and I don't know what to do with them. It's like <laughs> fuck. Where do where do I put this shit? I actually I felt so guilty about having that income that I called up three people that I know that I owe money to, but this mm-hmm. was like almost a decade ago. So I, I actually called him up and said, hey, if you want, I now have that money that I owe you. And all three of them, they're like, nah, that's chill. Like, it's, it's been so fucking long ago. What the fuck are you talking about? But I felt so guilty about it because it's like I never had the chance to make that up to people that I know that I've done them wrong when it comes to, like, money and shit. So when they said that it was chill, it was like, well, fuck, I don't know what to do with this. <laughs> So I've been trying to invest in like uh, buying new uh, furniture and like um, and uh, what's the word? A fucking computer, because my devices aren't working as well as they used to, because they're like five years old. So I'm trying to figure out a new uh, computer system to do all my shit on. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> That's well, what I've been stressing about for like the past week and a half. Let me give you my advice and feel free anybody else to ship in whatever advice you have to give. But this is my advice. This is what I've done. And this is what I recommend to other people to do. So when it comes to that, that you are starting to see numbers that you've never seen before uh, in your life, there's like a paranoia that comes with that. It's like, oh my God, I have this money. I don't know what to do with it. I don't want to fuck it up and like waste it all. So... This is my recommendation from someone who had a lot of money and wasted it all. <laughs> uh, thankfully, I had the journey of like, I won a game show a long time ago on TV and like I won a lot of money. 
and then I blew that. Oh, that was the Wayne Brady thing, right? No, it was like for NBC. It was called Take It All with Howard Mandel. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, but I won that money, and I thought, oh, my God, I'm a millionaire, which I wasn't. Uh, it was just, just $25,000. Uh, but at the time, it was like the most amount of money I've ever seen in my life at the same time. Um, and uh, this time, you know, I have – some uh, that's like closer to that number, whatever. So the first thing that I did was diversify my income, meaning have my income parked. Because essentially, if you think about your money, you're basically parking it. It's like a car. You're parking it in a bank account. You're just setting it in, the bar in a bank account. So if you just see it in that parking spot, and that's a parking spot you always look at, you kind of go, oh, I got money. I don't mind spending a few dollars here and there. And then slowly you spend and you spend and you spend until you don't have much. But if you take some of that money and park it somewhere else that you're not necessarily paying attention, then you have that money as a kind of like an emergency type of thing. So the first thing that I would say is I create an emergency fund outside of your, or where your main uh, money's parked. Yeah. Okay. So, for example, I have, I have, right now I have like six different bank accounts. So I'm that crazy. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, I have one called Ally Bank, for example, that I had it because it had like a high save, interest saving rate or whatever. But at the end of the day, the interest saving, it's better for you to have your money in <laughs>